The life of a North American garden shrew is run around like crazy for about a year and then fall over dead, like this poor fella. This shrew is no more. It rests in peace. Or does it? Is this a death rattle? Or is the shrew actually, you know, coming back to life? Nope, this is still an ex-shrew. The burying beetles have come. They cackle over their latest find. This shrew will be food and, well, something out of the second Alien movie. You'll see. Before competing scavengers can join this deadly feast, other beetles, maggots, raccoons, etc., the burying beetles have to move the cadaver to a more favorable location. In order to secure their prize, the beetles conduct their own funeral procession. They lie on their backs and walk the shrew forward. As the procession moves on, even a gate won't stop these grim reapers from hauling their cargo. Like a landlocked funeral barge, the dead shrew approaches its final resting place in the burying beetle burrow. The beetles prepare their home. Part coroner slab, part mortician's parlor, for a daunting home improvement project to turn this carcass into a nursery. The body is given a shave. And then, oh, gross! The beetles embalm the shrew with a protein-rich secretion that comes from their mouths and anuses. Now, the shrew is ready for that thing we mentioned earlier from that alien movie. The female will lay her eggs near the decomposing shrew, which the mom beetle will chew and regurgitate for them. The rotting carcass is baby food. 